Uh, of course, people in Ukraine were concerned to hear what happened at this in, in Japan, especially at the power plant Fukushima. And for you to see what uh, we have here, 24 late, 20, almost 25 years later in Ukraine, just decided to come to Pripyat and show you what the level of radiation are in Pripyat, which is uh, 33 microrongans. It's almost like a normal, but of course there are places here that it can be 10, 100, or maybe even 1,000 times higher. But this is what it is today, March 16th, 2011, and the radiation in Pripyat 34 microrongans an hour, which is 3.4 uh, microsieverts an hour. And 20, 25 years later, Pripyat is still abandoned city within the 30 kilometer zone. Okay, right now we are in Chernobyl power plant and uh, for you to have an idea what the radiation here right now is to compare with the radiation which is right now at Fukushima power plant. So my take account shows it's 400, 400 micro rockets which would be roughly 40 micro sieverts per hour. And this is outside the Chernobyl power plant because this is the reactor number 4. Of course if you go to reactor number 4 it would be much much more. Inside the reactor the radiation level probably 200-300 times more than here outside of Chernobyl power plant. And right now we are um, at the Red Forest near Chernobyl power plant which is over there. The place the Red Forest used to be right now it's uh, in the ground. So let me check in radiation here. So at this spot on the road it's uh, 13, 1300 microrongans, which is 1.3 millirongans. But if we check But if we check here on the grass, this would be like 500, 540 micro, micro sieverts. So the radiation here at the rest forest is 540 micro sieverts, 25 years after the explosion. This is piece of the equipment uh, that they used at Chernobyl power plant 24 years ago. And still as we see it, very contaminated, even they tried to wash it many, many times. This is my message to pilots in Japan who is who was flying over the Fukushima power plant and now they backed out because the levels of radiation are a little bit higher. Just, I want to assure you, it won't really uh, damage your house. So please uh, come back and please help Japanese people with this situation because the, f the way I see it, they don't have they don't have much like you know helicopters at all like we used to have here in Soviet Union. So. Um, the levels of radiation less than it was here in Chernobyl and uh, if you help them it would be really appreciated but uh, by, by, by Japanese, by you know world etc. I mean you know saving people is easier than to kill them so just don't be frightened with it there is nothing special and if you consult with the expert they will tell you that even you know uh, the levels they have right now, nothing that would, you know, kill you or something. It just, and, or, or you damage your house. So please stay in the zone and please help people on Japan to cope with the situation. Thank you.